Spark of the Resistance by Justina Ireland is the very first story in the Journey to the Rise of Skywalker line of books and comics. At the end of The Last Jedi, Rey asks Leia how they could possibly build a rebellion from the few survivors of the Battle of Krayt. Leia offers her some words of hope, but I think this story is about Rey truly coming to see it and believe it for herself. The setup for the books is that Rey, Rose, and Poe are on a mission to gather supplies for the Resistance when they overhear a call for help. The people of Minfar are being overtaken by the First Order, who is ruining the planet in search of an old Imperial weapon called the Echo Horn. Of course, our trio of heroes go to help those in need and stop the First Order. I really like the team-up of Rey, Poe, and Rose. Rey hasn't spent much time with those characters in the movies, so it's good to see them build some rapport. Stuff like seeing Poe and Rey banter about flying the Falcon. I've said many times before that I enjoy stories about friends becoming friends, and there is definitely an element of that here. Some clues place Spark of the Resistance a few months after the events of The Last Jedi, so it's not like Rey doesn't know these people at all, but their relationships are still growing, and Justina does a really good job at capturing all of their respective voices. And BB-8, she writes BB-8 very well. But Rey was my favorite part of this book. Seeing where her head is at after meeting and losing Luke, still struggling to find her place in the galaxy and in the Force. There are some good lines in there about the things she's done in the past, like she thinks about lifting all those rocks on Crate and is unsure if she could do something similar again. Every time she's done something amazing with the Force, it's been in a time of great need, and she's taken the time to center herself, focus on what she wants to do, and then she does it which is how the Force has always worked in the films, so Rey is still learning those lessons about tapping into that sense of calm. She's not as confident and constantly powerful as some people would like to think. More important than her journey in the Force, though, is her belief in the Resistance. Rey gets to see firsthand what only three people and a droid can do against the First Order if they focus on helping others. By the end, she truly does believe that the Resistance can and will grow, and that those dozen or so people on the Millennium Falcon at the end of The Last Jedi are the spark that will ignite the Resistance. Now this book is classified as a junior reader, which I think is like a middle school aged book, so for someone my age, it did feel a little simple, and at times maybe overly noble. It reminded me of Star Wars Rebels a lot, which makes sense, we're talking about similar age groups here, but it's pointed out multiple times that Rey and Rose and Poe are all stunning stormtroopers instead of shooting them. If they're being sneaky and don't want to shoot people in the back, sure, that's one thing, but when it's a straight up battle, it feels different, and also like the complete opposite opposite of what they do in the films. What's more is there is a moment when Poe stuns some people and then leaves them to die in another way. Again, it's a book for a younger audience, so I understand it, but it feels very inconsistent to me. At the end of the day, this was a fine story. I think it did have some good points to make and some solid insight into all three of the main characters. It's worth a read if you're just starving for any kind of content leading up to episode 9, but I certainly don't think you'll miss any major developments if you skip it. I think Resistance Reborn is going to get into much more detail about how the Resistance grows over the course of the break in between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. If you'd like to listen to this book for yourself, you can pick it up for free on Audible. Just click on the link in the description or visit www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained to sign up for a free 30-day trial, which will get you a credit for one free audiobook. You could use it on Spark of the Resistance. The audiobook is out right now, but I'd honestly save your credit for something longer, like Resistance Reborn, which comes out early next month. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.